Hey, this is Taylor with Symmetry, and we help busy people take back control of their lives so they have more time, more energy, and less stress. Today, we're going to be going over four tips to start your day right, and then we're going to do a breathing routine that I like to do first thing in the morning, gives you some focus, clarity, and a little bit of energy to get your day going. A lot of people wake up out of bed, roll over, hit the snooze, maybe stay in bed a little bit longer, grab a cup of coffee when they get going, shower, rush out of the door eating some processed food, and are really just flustered from the get-go. It is much more beneficial if you take control of your day before it takes control of you. And by using these four tips, which anyone can do, they don't take a lot of time, it's very easy to incorporate in your life, you'll notice a massive change in how you feel through going through your day. The first tip is to hydrate before you stimulate. You've been sleeping all night, six, eight hours, and we are dehydrated. Our bodies need proper hydration for our energy levels, our mental clarity and focus, just the functioning of our body, our immune system. So getting properly hydrated is vital. Easy thing to do, get, grab a container, a Yeti, whatever it is, fill it with water, stick it by your bed, drink that the first thing in the morning before you have your cup of coffee. The next thing to do is to move. You've been laying stagnant all night. You need to get that body moving. You need to get those joints rolling. It's like just easy rolling out your ankles, your wrist, hopping up and down. Good way to get another energy boost, but that gets your lymphatic system pumping. You can go for a walk in your backyard. Just any type of short movement. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be super intense. You just need to move all of your joints. The third thing is to create some stillness in your day. We have so much information coming at us. Our emails, social media. Before you get involved in all that, spending a little bit of time with your own thoughts. This is a great time for a breath practice. One of those nice short routines like we've done in the past. Box breathing It's a good one to do here or the one we're gonna do here later, which will give you a little bit more energy and focus. And the fourth tip is to take a cold shower. Really just ending your shower on cold. What does that do? Well, for one, it primes you to do things you don't wanna do the rest of the day. Doing something uncomfortable the first thing in the morning makes it a little bit easier to do that stuff later on. It also helps you get in touch with your breath learn how to control your breath in such stressful situations. So when I say end your shower and cold, I'm not talking about a long time, three minutes, a minute. I just want you to do three to five slow controlled breaths. As you hit that cold water hits you, you might start rapidly breathing in and out of the chest, that get it in through the nose, out of the mouth, in, out, Think about slowing that exhale down. As you slow the exhale down, the mind calms down. You'll also notice you might get a little boost of some of those feel-good hormones, those dopamine, that endorphins. Those will start kicking in with that cold shower. And you might learn that you actually begin to love it. So just a little recap before you get breathing here. I want you to hydrate before you stimulate. I want you to move. Create some time for stillness and end your shower on cold. Now we're gonna start breathing. For this, I want you to find a nice comfortable space. You can be lying down on your back or seated with your back up straight like I am right now. If you're seated, I want you to just roll those shoulders down and back and imagine a string just pulling your head up, creating a little length in your spine. If you're lying down, put your feet flat with your knees slightly bent. And I want you to just begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Checking into your breath, noticing where it's going in your body. It's going into your chest, into your belly. Is it fast? Is it slow? Notice if you might be holding any tension in your body. Can you just let it go? A 
how we're gonna begin to slow our breath down. I want you to create a slight bit of resistance, tension in the back of your throat, like you're fogging up a mirror, but with your mouth closed. It sounds like this. In the nose and out. Using that ocean breath, you hear that sound of the ocean waves rolling in the back of your head. Can you breathe in for five and out for five? As you breathe in, your belly rises and expands. As you breathe out, it falls. In the nose and out of the nose. Let's start picking it up. Do some faster paced breathing and some breath holds. If it gets a little too intense for you, just come back to this slow breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Now I want you to give me a big deep breath in through the nose, force the exhale out of the mouth like this. <laughs> Forceful on the inhale, forceful on the exhale. Active breath, strong power breathing is what we call this. In the nose, out of the mouth. <sighs> Making sure that belly's expanding as you breathe in, then force that air out. In, out, in, out. <sighs> Keep going. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a big breath in and hold. Relax your face, relax the jaw. Keep holding, we're not gonna be here long. Stay with us. And exhale. Now we're going with rapid breaths in and out of the nose, driving this with the mid belly region. We call this fire breathing. It sounds like this. Really driving it with the belly. Think about pulling the air in and pushing it out. Your diaphragm's just like a pump. In, out, in, out, in, out, equal in, equal out. If you need to slow this down, slow it down, make sure that belly's moving. You can think about a puppy dog panting just with their mouth closed. So it's a, and you close your mouth. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one. Big breath in and hold. I want you to squeeze all your muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like you're squeezing all that oxygen deep into your tissues. And let it go. Now we're going to do a round of power breathing in through the mouth, out of the mouth, like this. <laughs> Big, full breath in, force that air out. Powerful breath. Think about driving that breath deep down into your belly, as deep as you can get it, and then forcing that air in, in through the mouth and out. Keep going. Keep that power moving. Let your breath speak here. Don't be afraid to give it a voice. Bring you life. Bring you power. Keep going. We're almost there. 
10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and hold. Might be feeling very tingly right now, potentially a little lightheaded. These are all natural experiences. Just feel them running through your body. Let go of any tension in your neck and shoulders. Stay with this hold as long as you can. You have plenty of oxygen. Your brain will tell you you need to breathe well before you need to. Keep holding. We're almost there. Take a breath in through the nose and hold. And exhale. I'm just going to go back to that slow breath in through the nose and out using the ocean breath. Breathe in for five and out for five. Really expanding the belly as you breathe in. And then letting it fall as you breathe out. In through the nose and out through the nose. You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Thanks for joining me here this morning, watching this video. Hope you're feeling good. If you ever need a nice little energy boost during the day, do about 30 seconds of that power breathing, then take a breath in, hold for 15 seconds, and repeat that for two to three rounds. See how you feel. If you want to get some calm and focus, come back to that nice balanced breath in through the nose and out. As always, you can find me at www.symmetry.live. Hope to see you guys soon. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.